Geminis are crazy, but talented. I mean, you know, Kanye's a Gemini, Lauren Hill's a Gemini, Kendrick's a Gemini. Mm -hmm. So they're very talented, but mm -hmm. they're definitely crazy. So your wife was almost great training for you, the people yes. that you would work with in the future. <laughs> exactly. You're like, you're crazy, but this is good. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. And uh, who knew I was going to be like the Gemini whisperer? Oh, honey. Welcome to the Oh Honey podcast, where you get the sticky and the sweet with Summer and Amanda and Che Po. <laughs> <laughs> so Che is a producer and former president of Good Music. That's right. That's right. And you worked with Kanye, The uh, Weekends. Yeah, Dr. We, Dre. Yeah. Um, the list goes on and on and on. Any favorites? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, you know what? He's They're all different. I enjoy, but I just enjoy the challenge and the, you know, of each each artist is very their own individual, and like I'm fortunate to have worked with these really larger than life personalities, right? Such as a Kanye. Yeah, yeah. So it's, been, it's been a fun journey. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, definitely what, never a dull moment. <laughs> no, I'm sh how long were you president for? Of good. Well, music? I've worked with Kanye in various capacities, but generally probably working with Kanye for about seven years. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, and you guys are so. Cool. We're still cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're still cool. Because usually whenever somebody hears former or like moving on, but you moved on to kind of start your own thing. Yep. Right. Building my own company. Which and, is um, awesome. Yeah, which is exciting. And, and at the end of the day, I think he's more moving in different directions as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think he's mo you know, more moving into fashion and apparel. So yeah. probably less music stuff. And your soul, your passion just screams music, right? Well, music, media. I'm actually yeah. going to move into film and television as Ooh. well. Yeah. So, oh, well, so let so. us know. Okay. <laughs> I can't sing, yeah. but <laughs> well, that's cool. Like, okay. and you have? Are you married? Engaged? Married? Girlfriend? Actually, it'll be twenty years wow. in October 9th. So oh, twenty years. Yeah. That's a long. I know. Time. That's a real. I don't think I've done, ever done anything for twenty years. So you yeah, know, the fact that <laughs> that's a that, commitment. Yeah, two kids. Um, one in college, hence the Syracuse pajamas. Hey, uh, and then, representing. Yeah, and then one um, sixteen-year-old son. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then. So one's 16 and one's 19. 19. Yeah. Oh, cool. So they're pretty close in age. Yeah. But they have that brother-sister thing, you know, that, yeah. that, nice, that nice rivalry or whatever. Which is always yeah. interesting, right? <laughs> yeah. That three-year gap is like just enough that they're like the little brother that gets on the nerves. Except, right. That's yeah. how I was the youngest and my sister was three years older than I was. And my middle sister was like a year older than me. So like okay. Irish twins or something, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Were you sad when uh, the one went off to college? Yeah, because like, yes. yeah, my daughter, my firstborn, so she's yeah. like, you know, you, and then she went so far. So it was like, okay, but you know, you just got to kind of, they grow up, right? Mm -hmm. Where'd she go to college? Syracuse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. where's that? Uh, upstate New York. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a great yeah. school. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah. So, you know. When did you meet your wife? College. Oh, yeah? College, yeah. Which college? Um, we went to school in Hampton University. Um, and it's the, the city where Allen Iverson's from. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so, like, when I went to college, it was a lot going on down there. Yeah, that time. fun. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. when, like, Diddy was throwing parties down there. Mm -hmm. Pharrell and Timbaland are from the area. Hence the new uh, the festival Pharrell just did. Yeah. Yeah, that's right in that same area. So is that kind of being... Were you from there or you just went to college? No, or? I was from Boston. I'm from Boston. Oh, cool. I just went to college there, yeah. Nice. With a lot of girls. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hence, hence me, me and my wife. <laughs> and, that, yeah. and you met your wife in college? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, wow. And then after you met her, you just knew? You were like, yeah, you, you're the one? Or it was no, kind of I think what, it's funny because when I first met her, I had gotten her phone number and then um, it actually took me like kind of a while. I think she was wondering if I liked her or not. It took me a while to kind of follow up and call you know, when guys, yeah. you know, you get the number, you're supposed yeah. to make the call, right? You're supposed yeah. to. I was kind of slacking on that. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, but I was just vetting her. I was just, you know what I mean? Just feeling just, it yeah, out. Yeah, feeling it out. So. <laughs> and how long before you guys started officially dating after a meeting? Um, well, when I first like, met her. Like, go back 20, over 20 years. When I first years. met her, I'm putting her business out there, right? When I first met her, she, she gave me her number, but she had a boyfriend. Oh. But I still got the number. <laughs> but yeah. I still got the number. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she had to get to rid of To be friends, yeah, right? She had to of course. Get rid, yeah, she had to get rid of him. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then, um, so maybe six months, maybe six, eight months after or something like that. Oh, okay. 
And then, I don't think I called for like six months. Yeah, you're think, like she's got a boyfriend. Yeah, I think I just kept an eye on her and then waited like, out. Like, yeah, in like six months, and then I then I called. Did you wait it out? Like, yeah, I was just gonna say. <laughs> yeah, the boyfriend was gone. He was out. Of, you know. Is that the story or is that the reality? That's the that's the story. No, 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 <laughs> no. She really got rid of the boyfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Story and the reality. Yeah, and the reality. Both. So. It's and then we've been a, question. Yeah, we've been together ever since. So. That's great. Yeah. And has it just been like? Like, have you guys had breaks, or is it just like when you guys got together? It was no, just we haven't had breaks, but I, like any relationship we've had, are it's like ups the roller coaster. Yeah, you know, she's a Gemini, I'm a, I'm a Taurus, so Geminis are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so kind no, of, I've yeah. always heard bad things about Geminis every really? single time. Yeah. Why is that? I don't they know. They just have a bad rap. Not like bad things. Yeah. They just like well, they have two sides to them, or right. like, is that Split. true? Well, yes. I don't know. Yes. Does that lead into cancers too? Because I'm a cancer. Do you no. know about signs? Can I know a little us? bit about, but your sign's more stable though. Yeah. What about Virgo? Okay. Huh? Virgo. Oh, you're thoughtful. <laughs> Virgos are very, very. And what are Tauruses? Stubborn, loyal. You know. Okay. Yeah. So, but what would you say about Gemini? Gemini's are crazy, but talented. I mean, you know, Kanye's a Gemini. Lauren Hill's a Gemini. Kendrick's a Gemini. Mm -hmm. So they're very talented, but mm -hmm. they're definitely crazy. So your wife was almost great training for you, the yes. people that you would work with in the future. <laughs> exactly. You're like, you're crazy, but this is good. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. And uh, who knew I was going to be like the Gemini Whisperer or something Right? Like that. <laughs> you basically yeah. are. That's your new yeah. title. He's a Gemini <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> How to Tame a Gemini, your new book. Yeah. I have an artist <laughs> I'm working with now named Amalia Wadi who was on um, American Idol, and she's Gemini too, so it's just funny. Oh, really? It's like, yeah, literally. Like, oh, I feel like that out. happens. So you like kind of attract that. Like for me, I attract a lot of cancers in my life. Really? You know? Yeah. It's just I attract a lot of Geminis. Both yeah. of my ma like really serious boyfriends have been Geminis. Yeah. yeah? And I always hear bad things about them. So I'm like, what are you? Oh, you're Virgo. Oh, yeah, we just went over this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Virgo. What's what? When is that? September. September right? oh, I yeah. obviously know nothing about like signs. I know signs. nothing about <laughs> September. I don't even know anything about Oh, like, beginning of September, right? My, mine's 15th. Aren't they supposed to have like a high sex drive? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's okay. go back to the book. <laughs> and <laughs> let's dive into the honeypot. Um, <laughs> she have to answer that one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Amanda wants to take it all sexual. I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> Do they have a high sex drive summer? <laughs> Pause. <laughs> but yeah. I feel like that doesn't have to go with science. I feel like that's person to person. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I've heard that about Virgos. I've never heard it. All right. Well, I'm going to Google you, it later. We're going to get yeah. like a. I think I've heard that. An expert on this topic on our next podcast. We should have a. Yeah. A, yeah. To go science. over all the. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. dive into the astrology fun. and all that sort of stuff. I know. I want to like learn. Levels all that stuff. to this. I want to learn that stuff. Oh, we'll have it on here. Yeah, you can okay. watch the episode. Yeah, exactly. We'll educate everybody, including Beautiful. ourselves. So if you are an yeah. uh, expert, slide in our DMs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just horoscopes, like, just tell us everything. Diary at ohoneydiary.com. Hit us up. <laughs> but so you went into the music industry that moved you, that was immediate uh, move to LA? To New York first. New York. New York. I feel yeah. like that's normal, like, yeah, kind of the like route. Like, I mean, it's that, what's that saying? If you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Yeah. Kind of, I think that holds true for the music industry. Like, you, if you, especially mm -hmm. in New York, at the time, especially, you know, mm -hmm. which was like, you know, early, mid 90s and stuff. So it was like, New York was still kind of like. That was the, the spot for it, too, especially yeah. in the 90s, right? Yeah. It's like you, you had to do it in New York. Yeah, you did. In and college, did you know you wanted to be a producer? Like, was that your old. No, I did it for fun more, more than anything. I was a finance major. Which, oh. is, which is coming in the handy now later in life. Yeah, yeah you're like, I, also very okay. useful. Yeah. yeah, in terms of building a business and stuff. But no, I, I just kind of something I always did, mm -hmm. but I um, just started getting better at it and better at it. Mm -hmm. And then I got a deal with Teddy Riley. That's how I started. Oh, wow. cool. Yep. So from being in the music industry, it has like a rep of being very difficult to hold a relationship in just because, you know, so many people that you're meeting. Um, there's a lot of stereotypes around it. It is. I mean, I think you travel a lot. You're around a lot of people. I mean, yeah, and relationships are hard enough. Just imagine, you know, just yeah. with a, if someone had a nine to five, a relationship is hard. So yeah. imagine like being in the studio at night and mm -hmm. to two in the morning and all that. Late kind of nights. Stuff. Yeah, and travel. All the girls who want to be around the studio. Like the groupies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the groupies. Vi yeah. Videos. Yeah. 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 The funny thing is, the music industry is funny because there's male groupies and female groupies. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. females have the same, you know, it's just the same, they're just, just the same, yeah, situation. Did you ever find yourself in a situation that you're like, 
I need to get out of the yeah. studio yeah. right yeah. now. Especially moving to LA. You know, yeah. a lot of you know, a lot of people have house parties and stuff in LA or whatever and then people go out. So in mm-hmm. LA is definitely a time where it's like, Oh, okay, you know what, it's time to go. Yeah. yeah. I would say I was pretty grounded. Mm-hmm. You know, I went to a college that had a lot of girls. Mm-hmm. So I think you know, my wife might not agree with this, but in my in my opinion, I was pretty grounded. Mm-hmm. I think going to the music industry and being around it. Yeah, your wife might not. That's probably not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my wife not, might not agree with this, but yeah. But, yeah. I, but in my opinion, I've been pretty grounded. Since, yeah. You know? yeah. Well, you're also comparing yourself to others that are doing like <laughs> way crazy things. Yeah. Do you well, have any like stories? Not uh, naming names, but or naming names, whatever you want. I would say. <laughs> Just one of the, the funniest stories was um, they walked in like um, it was supposed to be a party, um, like sort of an after party situation one time, and it was um, it was a cocaine party. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of funny, just in terms of like they were literally like handing out baggies of cocaine. Yeah, like, like oh. party favor. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, oh, okay, no, thank you, I don't do cocaine. They were like, pretty expensive and they were like, you don't party, party you don't party. Yeah, yeah I was like, <laughs> I like, do uh, party, well, but not in a that different party. way. Yeah, so the peer so, pressure. You know, yeah, you know, just funny people. More be honest with you, just more funny people than anything. Like, yeah. not necessarily like um, too many crazy situations, but just funny people. Yeah. Just people that are just- Characters. Cool. Yeah, just characters and, yeah. and you know, and I, I attribute it to the, just the entertainment industry as a whole, because you just get the funniest people. Well, I think it happens a lot too, especially in the industry or what, whether that be music or just entertainment in general. Like, I think there's so, everybody's such a character in their own that some of them like they don't prioritize like the relationships no. they like sometimes even go into relationships to get that creative juice that they need mm-hmm. for their yep. their okay. music okay. Yeah. yeah yeah they need subject matter right? yeah it's, it's like true. and some girls i guess like the groupies that are around there they're like cool yeah use me as your inspo mm-hmm. like whatever yeah. <laughs> you guess, know yeah. yeah you're right i mean and i think or, or some of them, you know, the honestly, guys. are naive, you know what I mean? They come from, people move here from all over the place, you know what I mean, from other cities. They have expectations of people, oh, this person's going to, I meet this person, I'm instantly going to be the ladder. in the mix. Yeah, I'm instantly in the mix. Or they think they're going to be different. They're going to fall in love with me. <laughs> exactly. I'm different. You know? oh. But I've noticed, like, with artists, like, what I've seen a lot of is they usually end up with the people they were with before they were famous. Like sometimes like they go back or yeah. they're like turn into a power couple and go with somebody who's like the same mm-hmm. level the as same, them. Yeah. To me, some of them, I don't know if it's almost like social climbing or, or they've tried it. Meaning I feel mm-hmm. like, like someone like a JLo or someone, it seems like she's tried to have some genuine relationships and it was like, all right. You yeah. Know it got weird. The, yeah. Me and the dancer, that's not working. Yeah. Yeah. Go get me no, she has A-Rod. to go get yeah, yeah. 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 No, you know? yeah, yeah. See, I, I don't really know a lot of really famous people that are with, they're like people from their hometown. Yeah. I, I know There's like so a few people some. like, yeah. yeah, personally, I don't want to like put yeah. oh, no, their but stuff. I'm talking I mean, about like A-list yeah. celebrities. Yeah. Well, I guess in like the DJ world, like it's like in your own genre, yeah. you no, can I'm be saying like top. There's people all the time. There's like, there's different levels to celebrity. Like, and I think of like the celebrities I'm talking about, like J-Lo, mm. like that kind of stuff. They're with yeah. like famous people. Like, yeah. you know, like mm. Beyonce and Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. that's yeah. the kind of. Pop. Some people like Kim and Kanye, like it was definitely like two power yeah. people, you know what I mean? So. I agree, and, and then but there's some like LL is like married his, you know, college sweetheart Snoop married his mm-hmm. high, his high school college sweetheart high school sweetheart. Yeah, you know, so yeah, some. But no one really like Snoop, so you don't know that he's even married. Really, the yeah. average person probably doesn't. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but it doesn't change the fact that he is, and he did yeah. that. Yeah, but I'm just saying when you are with someone who's also famous, that's maybe why it's a, co- a power couple because you know both of them. You know. Yeah. Yeah, Plus maybe you don't even know if they're with their high school sweethearts because you don't yeah. know who they are. <laughs> yeah, <Probably laughs> and they like it, it that way. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what I would like it that way. Yeah. Like, I don't probably not as pressworthy, right? If it's if it's just some like sort of yeah, you know, and I think, civilian or something. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> like how can I get more PR here? Right. Exactly. But at the same time, it's like I think sometimes people get together because when you're at that stage in your career too, it's like all right, like, I want somebody who's as driven as me, yeah. who's, like, has been through all these obstacles and can relate to me on these levels. Like, 
I th so, yeah, I think the common, yeah, right, the common ground is that, okay, you can relate to this. So when I am mm -hmm. out working late or I, I do have to travel this, you, you get understand it. it. Yeah, you understand it. You're not yeah. going through it. You know boundaries, too, mm -hmm. and, you know, like, yeah. there's so many different elements with different lifestyles that... Yeah. But some celebrities do want the normalcy. Like, a friend of mine's married to Ellen Pompeo, and she's like that. She, mm -hmm. she probably would not, you know, have someone who's another celebrity, you know? Yeah. So that's how I am. That's how I would be. I wouldn't yeah. want to date another celebrity. Yeah, because yeah. it does add, like, it's not easy, I'm sure. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Because so. there's temptation everywhere. We always reference Beyonce. Obviously, we love Beyonce. <laughs> like, <laughs> even her whole album. <laughs> like, <Yeah. It's laughs> I just, you just feel her through it. You're like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? You feel all the, the ups and downs of that. Mm -hmm. so and that. everything's very public, too. Yeah. Exactly. Versus, like, say, like a Jessica Alba, who met, you know, yeah. this guy. I mean, he's in the entertainment industry, but he's not. In know, the public like eye. Yeah, he's not famous. Yeah. Know? But so. a successful entrepreneur on his own. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. 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 So. Teach your own. Yeah. His dad was an actor, but he's not, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's able to go under the radar a little mm -hmm. bit more. Exactly. And now with Jessica, not so much. <laughs> yeah. You know, so. Things change. So, so, so it's, it seems to me like some, because a lot of times you see the power couples break up, right? Mm -hmm. they, they, they come together. Publicly. Yeah, it's a very public <laughs> thing and, it, and it's a whole mm -hmm. thing. And, and it seems like they can never like, you know, sustain these relationships and all that. Yeah. So, but right. to each his own, I guess. See, there's, there's both. I guess in general, though, even with relationships, like no matter what marriages, the divorce rate is yeah. over half. I don't know the exact numbers, but... I don't know, but I, yeah. I, they're definitely not like, you know, the back in the day thing where Can people like... pull up those numbers? Yeah. Like di divorce rate in the U.S., I guess? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember like when my parents, like years ago, like yeah. 10, 20 years ago, like it was frowned upon if you got divorced. Like everyone's like, oh my God, you're getting divorced, you got divorced. And now it's like, ah, I'm divorced. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's divorced. Yeah. Everyone's it's just like, like any other breakup. It's like, like, yeah. oh, yeah, I'm it's like just get, yeah, then you just get married. Through. Yeah, yeah, then you just get married. It's just yeah. so yeah. like, like yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, now, I, now people I, just get married because like, they can get divorced. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I still have like the same group of like five or six friends that I had from high school. And we all got married around the same time. We're all still married, actually, which is... That probably just, helps you guys yeah. stick together, too. Yeah, yeah, we were like our own support group. Yeah, like Aww. you're going through this? Yeah. Okay, this is how you get through that. Yeah, yeah. it was definitely mm -hmm. our own support group. Yeah. Yeah. 40 to 50%. Oh, in divorce? Mm -hmm. 40 to 50%, so wow. not over half. But. Damn near, though. That's a lot. Yeah, it's a, a high rate. I so. wonder if, like, over the years it will keep getting worse. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Should people get married? It seems like partnership. That's always my question. Like, she asks like, everyone. I do. Really? Yeah. And it's, I guess because it's like at a point in my life too, it's like, I don't know, people get married at, in, in their early 20s. People get married in their 30s. People get married at all like decades, I guess. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I think if it makes sense for them on a financial level, like too, sometimes it does yeah. benefit you. Um, yeah, I think I just see it as a business a lot of the time. <laughs> I, do. I mean, I think for me it was good because it was definitely a stabilizing factor versus just be running out crazy, run, you know, running it's out crazy. It solidified for yeah, you. So I think for me it was, it, it was good to have a home base. You know, I, I was, I, I'm an only child and I came from a divorced household. So yeah. it was like kind of having a, like a base, you know. Yeah. But for other people, I'm like, I don't know if you should be married. Yeah. <laughs> you know I, mean? I don't know. Yeah, but, I mean, if you're going to do it, do it. Yeah. Like, be in it, be willing to fight for it. And yeah. Just don't think of it as like an easy thing because it is the biggest, one of the biggest commitments that you'll make yeah, besides really. having children. <laughs> like, exactly. You know, and that's I, the biggest, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get married before having kids? Well, yeah, yeah we got years. married. Yeah. Well, yeah, we got married actually a month. Well, my wife was pregnant, so that, that definitely contributed to the timing. Of oh, the really? But yeah. Yeah. She was pregnant. Because it's right her. around there. Yeah. 19 is your daughter. Yeah, my daughter was born a month later. Oh. Yeah. And, and that's really when you guys were like, all right, like this makes sense yeah. for our family. But I think we were, we were like, we're going to do it anyway. So yeah. just in terms of the timing, let's do it before, yeah. you know, before she arrives. Yeah. Was she all big and pregnant? And yeah. Well, she, she wore like this nice <laughs> suit. So she was, she hit it well. Yeah. She was. Yeah. She had this nice, so she doesn't look that pregnant. In yeah. That. I love pregnant women. Yeah. yeah. I think I it's even more it's gorgeous. I think it's the cutest thing when I see girls pregnant. Like when you see a cute pregnant woman, I'm like, oh, but you always want to touch the belly. I know. They're probably like, stop really? touching me. Uh, you just want to yeah. rub it. I don't know. Maybe it's the, the dad or the father part. I see the thing. I'm like, oh no. Really? <laughs> like, ah, yeah, something's that, in there. Ooh, more children. Oh, no. Ooh, no. <laughs> it's like scary for guys. Yeah. Yeah. Girls like, oh my God. 
And the guys are like, stay with me. Would you want random girls touching your belly? Yeah. You would? You'd be like, oh, oh hi. Maybe, yeah, I think so. Because then yeah. it takes away from, yeah. like, my belly is like a baby. Like, oh, yeah, you can touch my baby. Yeah, wish it well. Like, when I bring my dogs everywhere, I'm like, oh, pet my dogs. Yeah. <laughs> See, some, I guess that's the way to think of it, too. Some people are like, don't touch my dog. Yeah. Like, so many people touching my dog. My dog does not like this. I like my dogs that socialize, so. Yeah. I'm like, everyone touch my dog. Yeah, love, yeah. love, love. My dog's a little squeamish on new people, so he's like, or she's like. <laughs> like yeah. Touch me. <laughs> Yes. For the pregnancy, were you in the room? I was. For during both. the birth? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, both, yeah. And were you gloves on, ready to go? Or just more? No, or in the back? Like, no, I was in the back. It was, but it was, it was, I was there. Yeah. You know, I, was, I was good support, I think. Yeah, not it holding a leg up. It is a squeamish thing. It is, <laughs> it is, a, is it a thing? It is, it is definitely like yeah. you appreciate a woman so much more. Like I've seen them go through see, it. Yeah. Because some women fear, they're like, I don't want my husband down there seeing what's going on because yeah. they're never going to be turned on by yeah. in the bedroom again mm -hmm. after they see <laughs> what <Yeah>. is happening. <laughs> it's true. I, didn't, I don't know if I even looked too much. Even I think I was more up with her. They're like, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give you the support versus watching that. Yeah. I don't know what I would do. I don't know what my stance would be on like, all right, watch and help out and <laughs> deliver this baby or yeah. stay up here in the safe zone. Yeah. <laughs> But what about you're the one delivering the baby? You're like, yeah, I don't want to be there. I'm like, oh, oh Amanda, yeah. you're having the baby. Yeah. And you're like, no. You're like, no, no, I'm just going to be like, up here chilling. My, my, the father. Oh, the yeah. father. Yeah, yeah no, not me. Yeah. Oh, right. It depends on what kind of guy. If he's like a guy that will get grossed out, I'm like, yeah, please stay away. Yeah. But some guys wouldn't get grossed out. Would you like. have Bennett in the room if he was the one? Oh, dude, he would need to be there. Bennett is not weird about that stuff. Yeah. I don't think. Like, you would have him gloves on. He picks on. up all the dog poop and everything. <laughs> so he, <laughs> he picks up dog poop. He can see this. So he might be. He can be. Yeah, he's, and he's good. And he still loves the dog, so yeah. I think it's fine. Okay. Fine. My dogs are really, like, <laughs> shitty. That's true. That's a nice... Yeah. He changes their diaper. My dogs Aww. wear diapers. because. Really? They're really tiny and they're like so hard to potty train and they're like not fixed, so they just mark yeah. their territory everywhere. Mm -hmm. And there's three of them, so one does it and then the other one does it. And, then, and yeah. Bennett always is changing their diapers and everything. Hi, honeybees. I'm so, so, so excited to tell you guys how I keep my smile so bright. It's all because of High Smile. High Smile is a teeth whitening kit that uses a peroxide free formula that gradually removes stains, whitens your teeth without any pain or sensitivity. Count me in, that's amazing. And it only takes 10 minutes. Not only is High Smile quick and easy, but it's also affordable at only $59.99. I've gotten my teeth whitened at the dentist before, and boy, let me tell you about the pain. And it was super, super pricey. But thank you, High Smile, for the painless experience at home. Guys, at home, what gets better than that? And if you don't see at least two shades wider teeth after completing a full treatment, High Smile has a 30 day back money guarantee. And guys, High Smile is kindly, kindly, kindly partnering up with our honeybees to give you guys 20% off all purchases by using the code HONEY. Guys, again, that's HONEY at checkout for 20% off. Oh, I just got a new dog and she's super trained. She's amazing. Yeah. She's, yeah she's, what kind of dog? She's half pit, half English massive. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah, named what? Luna and she's the first trained dog I've ever Is had. Is she she's like, like, name my dog. like a massive no. or no, she's like more a like pit bull size. Yeah. yeah. Like Is she a puppy colors. or full grown? Oh. No, she's grown. So she's, I got her. She's, as a matter of fact, her birthday was last Friday. So Have she just turned it? four. Oh. Yeah, so I got her recently, but um, she's fully trained. It's amazing, like, you know, commands, and yeah. they have a dog that listens and does that. <laughs> Your dog are just pooping in their diaper. Yeah, but my, <laughs> like, I would never have, like, a full-grown, like, yeah. dog that's not potty yeah. trained. Oh, yeah. It's different when you can put a diaper on them. Yeah, like, just, their turds just, are like little rabbit turds. Like, if a full-grown dog shit in my house, <laughs> yeah. I'd yeah. freak out. I'd be like, oh, my God. Like, I, yeah. you know when you pick it up and it's, like, a huge shit mm. in your hands? But when you have three it, of them... Running around, that adds up to one, I think. <laughs> yeah, but they do it at different times. That's true. Scattered. Yeah. Two of them. But are it's like over there, like diapers so. flying. But they don't, <laughs> like go a the, they don't go number two in the diapers because it's gross. It gets stuck to the. Oh, right. So they just, it's just pee. Yeah. And then. Yeah. 
I don't want like full. I don't want real dogs. But this is prepping you. This is just babies. You're gonna be. She's gonna love her babies so much because you love baby. You're gonna be sad when they get older. Yeah, no, I love babies. I like when I babysit. I like infants, and then like older than like toddlers and stuff. I'm like, if they don't want me to hold it, like please get it away from me. Yeah. I like to be able to like control it. I feel like you're gonna be the one when your kids get older, pressuring them to get married and or like, like have, have kids, whatever comes first. I'm like, I'm like taking all the condoms from them. I'm like, no, I have a baby. <laughs> putting holes in them. <laughs> I'm like putting yeah, holes in the like, condoms, my son's condoms. Right I'm like, the evil mom. Right I'm like, I'm do you like, want no. your daughter to ha wait? Oh, probably um, wait. Yeah, because yeah. she's, she's, She's in a film and television, so I want her to get established in her career. But I mean, yeah. I want her to be happy. So yeah, what whatever it does, be what whatever she, she do wants. Behind the scenes, or like be an actress. No, I think more behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah so you know, hopefully, she, maybe she'll go into directing or something. Smart I mean, like, girl. Yeah. Be awesome. She's good. So Start hopefully, producing. I just want her to establish herself. That way, whether she's married or not, she can still take care of herself. Mm -hmm. All right. You know. And that's the best. That's like, always what I want for my daughters. Well, that's what I've noticed too. Like some. Uh, and no shame against the women that want to be housewives and take care of the home and stuff too. I just think it's so nice to have that clarity in your mind yeah. of being able to make your own decisions and mm -hmm. not being restrained because you can't like yep. afford to leave a man or like yeah. and vice versa. So I, I think it's always good just to be able to have that like financial freedom yeah. that it gives you. And I, you know, I think in my family and, and my wife and in her family and just, we, we've always been around, I've been around strong women like my yeah. whole life. So it's like strong, independent women. So I'd want my daughter to follow in that, you know, yeah. same footsteps. Well, because even in a relationship, I think it helps. Like whether it's like you're support, working, supporting the family by doing all these things. But, you know, as your kids get older, you're, it's not as necessary to yeah. like, you know, like find something that you can do to occupy yeah. your time to... That's what my wife did. She went, yeah. she, for a while, she was, you know, the homemaker and taking care of really helping raise the kids. And then more, you know, recent years, she's been back working and like getting back into the, you know, she, yeah. she likes that. Yeah. So, yeah. And I feel like it helps people so much too when they're staying busy and yeah. doing those, it gives them satisfaction oh, and it betters the relationship. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with that because you have, you know, everyone has their own thing to do and things on their mind and, you know. Yeah. And not so, focus on the yeah, little exactly. things. Not, like, where you at? What you doing? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and like being a mom is like a full time job. Like, oh, yeah. You guys don't understand that is a job. Yeah. Like, For sure. It really is. No, like my sister, um, that's like her thing is raising her two kids. But as, and she also uh, works at the, my mom's karate school too and okay. teaches classes and stuff. Your mom and, has a karate school? Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> In <laughs> South Florida. <laughs> Master Amy Reed's Black Belt Academy. Um, was it? Yeah. Cerny Reeds? Master Amy Reeds. She has a different Amy. last name than Amy me. Reed. But she's my mom. Oh, so she's, she's, she's probably, my mom. You want, she's the last person you want to mug. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. yeah, it's kids, yeah. And what was like the benefit that you got out of it? Anything? Uh, <laughs> like, I learned I how like to I punch how somebody. To <laughs> yeah, I felt like I learned how to fight. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, no, because that's important yeah, too. It is. I just self defense. learned how to like protect myself. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Hi honeybees, we all have something we would like to change about ourselves, whether it's quitting an unhealthy habit or starting healthy ones. And sometimes we just need that extra push to take action and someone to talk to. That's why I'm very thankful for Talkspace. Talkspace is a convenient and affordable way to talk with a licensed therapist online. You can send your therapist text messages, audio, pictures, or even video messages from your phone or computer whenever you need to. So amazing how you don't need to deal with appointments or extra commutes. Everything happens with Talkspace Secure Platform all on your schedule. It's amazing for developing coping skills, dealing with stress, anxiety, and getting the accountability you need to accomplish your goals. The bottom line is life can be hard, and Talkspace wants to give more of us the support we need at a price we can afford. As a listener of this podcast, you can get $100 off your first month on Talkspace to match with your perfect therapist. Go to Talkspace.com or download the app. Make sure to use the code HONEY to get $100 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's HONEY and Talkspace.com. Yeah. yeah. I've never been a punk. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have this thing that we do called the honey pots. Okay. So we take a dip in the honey. We never can remember this. We take a dip. Honey dip tip. Oh, we get a tip from the honey dip. Let's take it. Let's okay. get a tip from the honey dip. So in our honey pot, we have diary entries that our fans send in and they get advice on their relationships. Oh, so okay. we give them the best advice we can. All right. 
Like take it as coming from your friends. It's not expert advice. So here we go. First thing, oh, that one wanted me. All right. Jeez. <clears throat> oh, honey. So I recently found out that my best friend's boyfriend is cheating on her and she doesn't know. Is it a good idea to tell her? I'm afraid that she won't believe me and will become angry at me. Or if I don't tell her and she finds out that I knew all along, she will never trust that I had her best interest. Help. Che Pope. Well, um, as the guy, mm -hmm. you know, she, she needs proof, like factual proof, you know what I mean? Because if she's going to confront her friend, you know, she, I mean, she should tell her friend. Mm -hmm. She should tell her friend, but she should have her facts straight mm -hmm. versus just speculating and then she goes yeah. and then, <laughs> then, you know, if the guy, it's not true, then the girl will hate her friend forever. Yeah, that's true. Well, well I don't, I guess I wouldn't hate my friend if she, <laughs> hate my friend forever. <laughs> I, I guess I wouldn't hate my friend if she came to me and was like, hey, not to cause any drama, but I did hear this. I don't know if it's true or not. Yeah. This well, that's, is just, that's a good approach. Yeah. Yeah. But not like, oh my God, your boyfriend's cheating on you. Break up with him now. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. yeah and they must yeah. not be very great of friends because like if you're really good friends with someone, you mm -hmm. would like tell them without even hesitation. Yeah. I feel like yeah. Summer would come knocking on my door, hand deliver the message. Like, Look. <laughs> Bitch, knock, knock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you're a good friend, you're going to tell, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But oh. I see coming from the guy's perspective too, it's like, Okay, don't cause drama. Don't well, just distrust. Well, there's that stereotypical distrust. thing that always oh, guys are always cheating. I mean, you know, that's the stereotype, you know, mm -hmm. especially, especially, I mean, you know, if you're in entertainment or sports. Yeah. You know, you're just out there. Do you hate so, that stereotype? I do. I do. Because mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's always like in any argument or any conversation. Yeah. It's yeah. always assumed. You can't win. <laughs> you know? So if you hear someone broke up or someone did this, oh, what did he do? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what do you mean, what did he do? Do you say... The majority, though, it is pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, but you know, hence I mean, the stereotypes, right? Dudes are, dudes are scumbags. I'm not disputing that. No. But, <laughs> You're you like, yeah, you have a daughter. <laughs> yes. So, I, you know, I'm not disputing that. But yeah. it's still just, you know, same thing like court of, you know, court of law. Like, you know, mm -hmm. you probably did steal the money, but, you know. Yeah, give you assume, a trial. Yeah, we assume that he didn't steal the money. <laughs> yeah. You know? No, it's, I love the saying innocent until proven guilty yeah. because certain things come out and people automatically believe it's true and it can ruin an, a person's entire life and reputation and yeah. career. And people are like, oh, how, why did this happen? Oh, because this one person said it. Yep. You're right. It's like, all right, well, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Before you go crazy, like, let's hear both sides of the story. Yep. Let's get to the let's facts. Let's get it in court. Yep. Let's get to the facts. And, <laughs> and let's get okay. that verdict, but let's not down, put yeah, yeah. either side down yet. Yeah, like, I know. You know, it's like, you know, I'm friends with like Russell Simmons and um, mm -hmm. Brett Ratner who both had, you know, their various issues with whatever. And I'm not disputing whether it's fact or fiction, but what I am disputing is that, you know, they lost business deals and things of that nature before it was anything was proven. Just yeah. over allegations and things of that nature. Which is scary, right? For yeah. I mean, if if you're somebody that is innocent that that happened to and you're like all that has to happen is mm -hmm. for somebody to come out and just say i did something like even if they're mad at me and they just say that just to mm -hmm. like hurt yeah. my career and, then people... and girls can't be trusted nowadays because girls will do anything oh i did this with someone so for any type of clout or anything so it's like yeah so there are some girls like that and there are some girls that legitimately were yeah. taken advantage of or just exactly. like put in very bad situations that you know they're the whole reason why this whole me too movement should exist and be like a yeah. a real thing but some people take advantage of that well it has to exist you know because i think for so long so many people because the you know this, these individuals were so powerful yeah. right it was really hard to say something against them because if you say you know if you're oh, trying yeah. to be an actress forget and you about something it against someone like Harvey Weinstein, you know, your career is done. Like, yeah. right? he, can, he can shut down Hollywood for you. Yeah. So it's true. There is truth to that. But mm -hmm. at the same time, I do feel like these people have to get, you know, it has to be vetted so that we know it's fact before people are losing business deals and things of that nature, you know? Definitely. So. Yeah, I support it fully, but also I do see the downside of it yeah. as well. <laughs> exactly. Because it's, it's a hard thing. Like, um, like, even for me, like my first time in L.A., 
I was like, all right, meeting people, meeting producers, and mm -hmm. I was like, all right, I want to get into acting. Yeah. And then, so you're taking meetings, just thinking, okay, this is how LA works. Yeah. I mean, like a 20 years old and mm -hmm. just like figuring this out. And then, so I get a meeting with a producer that was recommended through a friend, and they're like, oh, just like come to my house, like 6, 7 p.m. And I was like, for a meeting, I'm like, yeah. oh, cool, like works out of home, awesome. And so drive there, get there, go knock on the door, nobody answers, and then I uh, knock on the door again, and text, and they're like, oh, just come around, like, I think that was the order of things, come around the side of the house. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, so, a little weird. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, but cool, I, like, and I, here I, yeah. I am thinking, like, I wanna be polite, I wanna just, mm -hmm. like, not make anybody upset, too, like, yeah. if this is, like, how things normally work, then cool. Mm -hmm. And then, so I walk around the side of the house, Where and, Huh. And I walk around the side of the house and then um, I, I just hear, oh, come in the kitchen. And I'm like, because all the sliding glass doors were open. I'm like, all right, cool. Like, go in the kitchen, butt naked, making a cocktail drink. And I'm like, oh my God. Um, <laughs> Like to me, it's yeah. like a little bit comedic because yeah. <laughs> since then, like in my head, I'm like, this is freaking funny. Yeah. Like, you know, but also a little shocking. And usually when I'm shocked, I laugh yeah. too. So I'm like, oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> like, so you're like, you know, we had a meeting. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I think I'm here at the wrong time. And then um, it's like, no, just hang out. Like making it super normal. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, um, no, I think I'm going to go. He's like, no, I'm having friends over. His friends all come out, like two girls, another guy, go into the hot tub naked, all of them. All of them. All of them. And here I am, I'm like, I don't feel in danger. I don't feel like, yeah, yeah like I'm yeah. like fine here. But I'm just, they're like, oh, I'm like, I think I'm gonna go. You guys just do your thing. We'll have a, a meeting another time. Like never, another yeah. time. Yeah. And then, like another never. time. Like yeah. Never. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then um, he gets in the hot tub too. And the girls start making out with each other. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go. He's like, no, like, let's hang out and then talk about like us working together and stuff. I'm like, you're like I'm like, uh, no, it's fine. You guys do your thing. Have so much fun. Nice to meet you, ladies. <laughs> and yeah. then, like, head out the side. Mm. And I remember just getting to the street, getting to my car, and just dying laughing. No, like, right. I was like, what the hell just happened? That's a funny story. But See, you know how many girls would just join because they're like, oh, I want to get a movie deal. Or I want to oh, yeah, be gorgeous. Yeah. But honestly, like, I don't think it rarely it probably works like that. What about those two girls making out in the hot tub? They probably want to be in the I've never, never seen them on a feature film oh no i'm not saying it yeah. probably ever works Work, works, works yeah. but it works to get them in bed oh oh for the, for the <laughs> other way yeah. Yeah. yeah i don't think it works out for them though like <laughs> sometimes it does you hear see, the stories of the ones yeah. that it, it does work out for see, but see fortunately for men it doesn't we don't have that problem we don't get invited to like the yeah. house and like she's in the kitchen <laughs> naked and stuff you know you guys would love yeah. that yeah, yeah i wonder like, how that yes. story goes some, yeah. Yeah. Some, some like power exec or something i'd be like hey yeah <laughs> <laughs> like oh yeah, yeah. independent like, woman growing yeah. up i always heard before like, you were married yeah Growing exactly. up, I always heard like the casting couch, like like that's I always thought thing. that was a l I always thought that wasn't true. Yeah. And then now I like know that it's true. I'm like, oh. oh yeah. I tell, you know, I just well, I just know a lot of men. So mm. you know, and like you, when you know like the character of certain men, you're just like, okay. But yeah. you, you know, there's people that just you could just tell they're just sleazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just you know you just you wish for them like you hope they don't like rape anybody. Or yeah, do yeah, anything yeah. Probably, but you just know they're just they get sleazy. that reputation. Yeah, they just have that 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 slime ball kind of mm. feel like you know I but uh, that's why i think the movement was so great too though because at the same time it made people aware of what and legitimized what was actually happening yeah. that so many people would thought it was just like you know whatever yeah. or kind of knew about it but like nobody really would take action against it too because these people were so powerful yeah and i think it makes even even now like it makes people think twice about their behavior yeah you know? doesn't mean the same thing doesn't go on. It's just they think twice about it now. For sure. I mean? Right, so. because they're like, oh, now I can I yeah. get in trouble for doing Yeah, this. like, you know, like, like he, maybe you come over now and he's got a robe on. Exactly. You know, he's not ready to take He's yeah. not ready to flash He's not yet. fully naked yeah, yet. Yeah, he's not fully naked yet. He's got a robe <laughs> a on. A little bit respect first. there. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little start, little scared. Yeah. yeah. But That's I kind good. of just want to ask you a couple more questions sure. about, like, for the Me Too movement, since we're on that mm -hmm. topic. And I know it's so, like, such an intense topic yeah. too, right? Because it, it is. is very real and also like there's negative side effects to different things. But like, have you seen a big change in the music industry 
after the Mean Too movement kind of came into effect in a positive way? Um, I think probably more on a corporate side of probably like corporate, and granted, I, I don't really work in offices like that. Um, mm -hmm. We were always mostly in studios, but I'm sure the corporate environment has been affected by it in terms of like people making sure they're a lot more, you know, and they're better behavior, exactly, and professional and so yeah. forth. Because in the, you know, the music industry or any entertainment industry, it's much more of a casual environment than mm -hmm. some business, you know, yeah. than some businesses. So now I think Which it's Which just kind of leads to yeah. But I think on the boundaries. other side of it with the artist and the thing, I think it's the same. Yeah. You know, I think artists yeah. and rappers and, you know, music people, I think they could, they, they want a certain environment, so mm -hmm. they cultivate a certain environment, you know, whether mm -hmm. they want, if they want girls and alcohol out there and people smoking or people in the pool, mm -hmm. I think they still cultivate their environments as such. Yeah. I don't think that's going to change. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I think as long as, you know, those artists are being safe and respectful, yeah. at the same time, they have to look out for themselves, too. As, exactly. It's a yeah. two-way street, right? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. when you're mixing all those things, it's like... It's complicated. Yeah, exactly. you know, <laughs> there's a lot of traps out there for artists and so forth. So, yeah. yeah, exactly. So they just need to, you know, hopefully everybody's being smart. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Both sides. But Slaps everybody in the face saying, like, pay attention. This is the thing. And yeah. straighten up. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Straighten up. <laughs> well, thank you so much for doing our podcast and well, coming out so here. Much. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. To and your old neighborhood. It. It's great. Yeah, it's my neighborhood, right? It's my hood. <laughs> it's my hood. I know we need, we need like, Studio City, like, or, yeah. We need signs or something. So oh, what's your sign. what's the name of your your production company? The new company? Yeah, yeah we're, we're in trademark search right now, but it's called Record Workshop label? with no vowels. Okay. Yeah. So it's a media company. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. right, right. Because yeah. you're doing movies now. But want too. want to do it all? Anything in anything in the media space is the idea. Will be doing will be, it. Will be doing all. yes. That's the verb we like. Yeah, yes. <laughs> put the good vibes in the universe. In there. So for you guys, we'll put all of Che Pope's links below on the YouTube video and check him out. Where can they find you? Well, right now they can just find me. They can just listen to the music that's out there. Love it. Just listen to the music. Yeah. Yeah. And then a lot, lot coming. <laughs> we Lots love that. Life. We will too. Yeah. And make sure you subscribe to the Oh Honey podcast on YouTube. Oh and Honey listen podcast. to us on Apple Play and Spotify, anywhere you listen to your podcast. And download it. Download our podcast. And subscribe to us on YouTube. Yes. And follow us on Instagram. Oh, oh Honey, Honey Diary. Diary on IG. So check it out. We love you guys so much. And send in your diary entries to diary at ohoneydiary.com. Love you guys. <laughs> Oh, oh honey. honey. Oh.